Do wheelchairs and tennis sound like an unlikely combination? Not if your name is Lucas Sitole. This 27-year-old quadriplegic tennis champion has had an astounding seven-year career in tennis, and I'm about to meet him now. Lucas was involved in a tragic train accident at the age of 12, which resulted in the loss of both of his legs and most of his right arm. However, this young man managed to turn tragedy into triumph to become South Africa's top quadriplegic wheelchair tennis champion. Lucas, how old were you when you started playing tennis and how did you get into it? Oh, I was 21 years old. I was at uh, Philadelphia Singular School at uh, Pretoria. Uh, that's when I was introduced to the wheelchair tennis. And was it very difficult at first learning how to play quadriplegic tennis? Oh yes, it took me like two, three years to get it right uh, because I'm using one hand so I have to push with the rocket on my hand mm -hmm. and also to align my chair for the ball mm -hmm. to, to, hit it, uh, to hit it where I want it to. So it was difficult. And at what point did you actually get to a point where you realised, you know what, I can do this, I'm good at this? Oh, it was 2008 when I was representing South Africa and I went to the Cup at uh, Italy when I won my Polish Open uh, at Poland. So from there, then I, I told myself, I said, OK, you know, Lucas, this is the, the sport you need to play. And then I started to put my head on it. Then mm -hmm. since then, I'm still keeping pushing. And not a lot of people know that you actually won the British and US Open. What did that feel like? Uh, I didn't believe. Um, at first, when I won the British Open, mm -hmm. that I've beaten the world number one in the final, wow. then it was like a wow thing to me. Mm -hmm. But I didn't stop, and then I went to USA uh, for US Open. Mm -hmm. Then I beat him again on the finals. Then, but then I, I couldn't believe also at that time until I landed to South Africa. And then when the people they were there at the airport shouting my name and screaming, wow. putting up my post, and then I said, "Oh, okay, now I already won it." <laughs> Did you make a conscious choice to make tennis your life? Oh yes, I made a, a choice and uh, I'm going to live with it for the whole of my life. Mm -hmm. And I'm committed with it. Mm -hmm. I'm happy each and every day. Uh, it's good to do what you love. Uh, I also still uh, go out with friends, but I have limits mm -hmm. on what I do because I spend a lot of time on uh, writing music and playing tennis. Wow. Well. So you write music as well? Oh uh, yeah, I find the music as the one of the key things for me when I'm going to play. I always put music, then I like to sit alone, then I know it's I'm focused. Mm -hmm. Then somewhere, somehow, there's that part which music plays in me when I'm mm -hmm. about to play, you know. It gives me that kick to, to, keep, mm -hmm. to keep going. Any words of wisdom for the other young people out there? Uh, all I can say is that um, there's nothing impossible. And I told myself to never give up to anything. Uh, I, I, I like to try, then fail, then fail to try. But then at the end of the day, it also comes down to our dreams and our goals we set for ourselves. But then it's up to us if we wake up and chase them or we continue to sleep. So I chose to wake up and chase them. So here I am today, but I'm still chasing. 37 career titles in seven years bears testimony to his philosophy of chasing his dreams. We could all learn a thing or two from Lucas by never letting anything get in the way of chasing a few dreams of our own.